Hello and what's up peeps, this is Goldface Yakuza. So recently I've been getting hundreds of comments and these are just few of them all asking me the same thing. How do you blend your colors towards the end of your art videos? How do you blend them? How do you smudge them? How do you smear them? How do you mix them? How do you smoothen them? What tools or techniques or brushes do you use to blend your colors? Well, the wait is finally over. The video you have all been waiting for is here. In this tutorial, I'm not just going to show you one but four different ways of blending colors in Photoshop. And in case you haven't yet checked out my previous video, which was about four different ways of coloring in Photoshop, pause this video right here and go ahead and check it out. So I'm going to start off with the first technique, which is the smudge technique, where I'll be using the smudge tool. Now let's say we have two colors. Uh, let's say we have yellow on the left and red on the right. Now what we want to do is we want to blend the colors in between, create a very smooth transition, a smooth gradient from left to right and right to left, so that this fine line of division, this fine border separating the two colors are completely smoothened out. So we're going to use the blend uh, smudge tool now, you see, uh, let's come to the toolbar and right click on this tool and we have the smudge tool right at the bottom of the new pop-up, select that. Uh, let's keep the strength at 25% select the soft round brush uh, increase the size with something like that uh, yeah that works and then just smudge them that's all we pretty much do the thing about this step is that most beginners love using this step because it's easy it's fast and all you have to do is smudge 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 like there's very little manual control over what you're getting and this however happens to be my least, least favorite technique because although uh, it gives you something of a smooth gradient but uh, it doesn't really give you the best results according to me in my opinion I mean it um, sometimes it leads to these uneven patches of colors and artifacts and not really the best results so yeah after smudging a lot like smudging left and right you get something like that which is more or less um, a decent way of uh, mixing the colors when time is of the essence now let's come to uh, the second the, the second technique which is the mixer brush tool now the thing about mixer technique is that most people don't know that mixer brush even exists and beginners well they love using the smudge tool because they don't even know about mixer brush uh, the thing that they don't know is that mixer brush does exactly the same thing as the smudge tool but it does the same job 10 times better it's much quicker it's uh it's much easier it's much more automated and gives you a much accurate result just go to the toolbar uh, click on the brush tool and you'll find the mix brush tool right at the bottom of the new pop-up select that and let's get the wetness to 80 percent and all that flow 100 percent and all you have to do now is just click on the gradient and smudge it that's literally the same thing smudge it as you can see we already have a very smooth gradient right there smudge a bit towards the right, smudge a bit towards, bit towards the red and you have it, a very smooth gradient. There, a very uh, almost perfect blend right there. So yeah, this 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 is a very good substitute for smudge taking and, and I absolutely recommend this for all of you using the smudge tool right now because this is a very good level up. And then we move on to the third technique which is actually my favorite technique and is the manual is the manual blending technique. Now we're gonna take um, the soft round brush tool from the tool presets and we're gonna bring the opacity down to about 20% um, and turn on the pressure sensitivity tool and next up let's uh, increase the size a bit and then pick a bit of color from the left we're going to be use, using the 
color picker so shortcut it's alt from keyboard as soon as you pick uh, as soon as you click on alt you get this color picker option and just keep just uh, click on the color you want to pick and click a little towards the right pick the right color pick a, a color a bit towards the left repeat the same like same again and then uh, pick a little from the middle from the center part and color again repeat the step from left to right right to left center to both the sides and just keep doing it until you get a very smooth transition going on right there as you can see it's already gives you a very perfect smooth blend right there so as you can see that's clearly my favorite why it's my favorite technique gives you an overall much better result and, and you can clearly see that it's the most manual way of doing it and also gives you the most perfect result so yeah there's that now we're gonna move on to the final technique which is the fourth technique so this is not just mixing but it's more like it includes coloring and mixing within it let's say we have yellow and we want to we, we want a smooth gradient of red color from the right now instead of coloring it and then mixing it we're just gonna mix and color it simultaneously we're gonna uh, select the round brush tool increase the size significantly uh, turn on all the pressure sensitivity options and bring the opacity down to something like 24% or 20% and click the and select the color we wanna we want from the right to enter and then slowly color it from the right like that as you can see we already have a transition right there so that's coloring and blending at the same time and a good application of this method will be I'm gonna show you show it one to you right now uh, we're gonna create a 3d sphere so let's say we have a dark background color and we're gonna select the elliptical marquee tools to create circular selection like that and then we'll pick a very grayscale ish color like that color it and then we're gonna pick a darker tone of that color and just follow what I do from here on I'm gonna paint the shadows pick an even darker tone of that to paint the dark darker much darker shadows and then pick select the brighter tone of that to mark the highlights and finally select a complementary color we're going to use as a backlight source so yeah there you have a 3d sphere I'm going to add a bit of shadow in there and there you have good application of the fold technique so that's it for now hope you learned something new from this tutorial and if you found this useful go ahead and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the upcoming tutorials do not miss them